The Minister of the Federal Capital Territory, FCT, used some weekend promised to clean the organ stable at the ministry, and he done it. The minister has sacked the heads of 21 power startups, agencies, and government companies of the FCT administration with immediate effect. According to a statement by the director of press in the office of the minister, Anthony Ogunlaer, appointments into the offices will be made in due course. Jide, Wiki, action. Yes, I, I want to believe that you couldn't uh, have told these people to go without a reason. I'm sure he was not impressed with their track record. They would have looked into the files of some of them. And we have to tell ourselves the truth. His own methods are different compared to those who have been FCT ministers before now. Look at the FCT, for example, has these luxury buses. They have a good number of them. Somebody once sent a video to me. He said, in this critical time that we need these buses to be on the road to ease the transportation pains of our mm. people, mm. you don't see them on the road. But during weekends, they loan those vehicles out to revelers, to people who want to use them to take uh, people to, to go and have O and Bay and all that. Some, some, mm. Sometimes even uh, away from the FCT uh, area. So and he's asking, he said, why can't they use those buses at this time? How do you have dozens of buses but the people uh, for which uh, they are meant, or, uh, the people that they bought them for, mm. they have no access to them. Mm. But you can, you can uh, get, you can give them out to people on a kind of uh, higher purchase, just for the weekend, for their uh, events and all that. This is what is happening. The guy even did a video. He, 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 um, did a live uh, uh, recording. He recorded himself live, you know, showing me the array of vehicles of, uh, of the FCTA that you don't see on the road, but they are prepared to give them out to people in exchange for, for, for words of Naira notes, while workers, another sure, categories of people mm -hmm who are struggling, who are, who are agonizing mm. over high transport costs, mm. they are unable to make use of them. So why, do you, why did you buy them in the first place? You certainly didn't buy them for rich people who want to convey people to their events and all that. I mean, I don't know what's going on. So that is just one example of indiscipline, of inefficiency that shouldn't be happening at the FCT. The man has made it clear that, look, I am not going to tolerate certain things. And somebody wrote the other day to say, oh, the president will stop him. The president will not allow him to do uh, some of the things that he promised to do because the president will be chasing re-election and all that. Didn't Obasanjo know that Erufai was doing what he was doing? Did Obasanjo get in the way? Now the, the FCT is, is thoroughly distorted. You need to go to FCT and see. At night, you are driving around the FCT. You, the, exactly. No, no street, street lights. lights. That that even manholes. Yes. Mm. Manhole Man covers. Mm -hmm. Stolen. And, and in some places, you are even seeing potholes, even uh, little craters in some parts of FCT, things that were unheard of. So there is a lot of inefficiency that is going on. And if the man finds it difficult to work with the people that he has inherited, mm. he has to find a way. Yeah. Have we not seen, even in NNPC, some people have been out to go on a, a compulsory retirement. So many people. The same thing has happened in, a, in, a, in the C CBN. All those directors were told to go. Because you cannot say that uh, Emir Fele has five heads and that he was the only one doing all of the things <laughs> that were happening there. Perhaps some of the, the, the deputy directors were, um, and deputy CBN governors were even the people um, uh, encouraging him to do some of those anti-people policies that, that, that brought some people to their deaths. So 
we the, what the man has done, I guess that okay now I can see MDC of Abuja Urban Mass Transport Company. Do you see evidence of man tra mass transit at work in Abuja? At all, you know, at all. We are some years back, you will see those red buses conveying people. There are buses. And then the green buses too. There are buses. If mm -hmm. if our correspondent goes to that place now, you will see so many buses. Mm -hmm. But you don't see them on the on uh, Abuja roads taking uh, 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 traumatized drivers, I mean, uh, workers. Commuters, yes. Uh, and other commuters uh, up and down. You don't see them. Yeah. And people are spending a lot of money to go to work. It's tough on so people. Approved. Whereas you can actually use those buses to ease their pains. Mm. Look at what, uh, what uh, Zulum has done. Farmers. Their buses are there. You see the story that I brought. The, farm, the farmers use those buses to get mm -hmm. from one point to another for free. Come on, we are not even saying uh, let them use them for free in Abuja. But let people be able to use these things. Of access to them. Abba. Mm. Omega, uh, when, you want to, when you want to look at it for efficiency, they will need to do this kind of thing. To yeah, get to, results. To, to me, Abuja is an overpriced city. Too many artificial things about Abuja. The rent, the transport, and these things, how big is Abuja? But there's deliberate inefficiency to make sure that the, that, that the dwellers of Abuja go through excruciating pain to pay rent, to commute, to, even, to, to do anything. And it should not be so, because this is the federal capital. It's a capital that is a city that should welcome every Nigerian, where every Nigerian should have a sense of belonging. But when you make things so difficult for people, they'll run away to other places. They won't be attracted to the federal capital. And it's very wrong. I know all over the world, yes, people might say that federal capitals are often expensive places. But yes, there are districts like that that are expensive. But it's not everywhere that should be as expensive as that. Definitely, I think a lot of things need... Abuja has really gone down. The FCT has really gone down. I mean, a lot of things need to be set, you know, need to be changed. There's a serious change needs to happen in the FCT so that the city can regain its lost glory. I mean, you no, know, the FCT of yesteryear was a very lovely place, but what is going on with all the construction, all the roads and everything? Who are those to use the roads? Is it not the people living in the FCT? So you roll out the buses. There are a lot of things, even land administration, a lot of other things. Yes. And I mean, they need, to be, they need to be put in order so that the city can be welcoming to every Nigerian and foreigners. Hmm. And when you have to look at it ultimately, that look, if Uche is not fair, if you can see this through, they won't allow those reforms. No, they won't. They won't. And the truth is, he needs the people who can really work with him. He needs his kind of people. Understand? Yes. That's why you see in football, you hire a coach, he brings his technical team. Sometimes people who have been working with them for donkey years, mm. his goalkeeper trainer, mm. his physical trainer, these are people familiar with his methods who will help him to achieve his, his, uh, his dream because it's not a job for him alone. Mm. And the problem for us in our country is that we give people appointments, but we don't challenge them. Don't give them uh, KPIs. So they think that, okay, even if they fail, their jobs are guaranteed. Mm. Heads need to roll where we see clear evidence of failure. Because you are given that job for a reason. It's in our country that people are rewarded with extensive stay in office even when they are manifest failures. Mm. I mean, this, we have to stop this kind of uh, uh, behavior. If we can, can we find it difficult, if he has assessed those people, he has called for their fights, and he can see that, no, these are not people who can work with me. Honestly, I won't blame him. And I expect that where you put your foot down, mm. you want to ensure that there is efficiency, mm. the president has to back you. Don't say, you know, the president is going to uh, stop him, as if they, they had meetings uh, with him and the president. You don't you just open your mouth and talk. You cannot, you shouldn't stop somebody who is doing the right thing. Mm. Abuja needs to be fixed. Abuja is a lot worse than it was before. Mm. You can see that. So let's, let's find someone. I mean, it will I'll be happy to see someone help us make Abuja 
the winner yes. that it used to be, so that it will be an, an FCT that is the pride of every one of us. All right. Thank you for staying with us. Julie, wrapping up on this? Yes. We, I, I want to see Abuja change for good, mm -hmm. honestly. And um, if we can make that happen, it will be my hero. I want to see changes. I know that his methods are unuttered us. But most, so, most, most people who achieve results, mm. their methods are not mm. others. That is a fact. If you want to be like the people before you so that you don't offend you don't people, want to rock the you don't want to rock the boat, you don't want to offend people, you just want to do your time, then you are a bad leader. Mm. You are a bad leader. A leader must be interested in the growth and development of his community, not be interested in pleasing people. No. Oh. Where people praise you repeatedly, you mm. should be worried. Something's wrong. You should be worried. It means you are not doing it right. It means you are not doing it right. And when too many people are condemning you, they say, don't mind him. He's a good for nothing person. Because that's how people are. You can laugh. If, no matter how hardworking you are, people will hate you. They will say, okay, you don't say anything. You don't say say we don't say they say that now. You think they don't say that? <laughs> you see, Yoruba will say, uh, 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 The enemy will never praise you for killing a big grass cutter. They say, ah, this grass cutter is skinny. They will never see anything good in you. So you don't need them to no, praise yes, you. You, you, you. And that's you what Mahatma Gandhi said. He said, human praise diminishes me. Yeah. The human praise diminishes me. And he pointed to the fact that some of the greatest exploits in human history yeah. were executed in the realm of the minority. He talked about Jesus Christ. They never liked him when he was uh, uh, on earth. Today, he has more followers than Twitter or X or what do they call this? Yeah. Now? The same thing with Muhammad. Muhammad was not loved. They even wanted to, uh, to kill him. He had to, to flee. But today... Those are the two most dominant religions all in the us, world. Us, yeah. People that were condemned to the, in, in, in debt, they are heroes. That's the way we are. Yeah. If you are doing something good, they won't like you. The final second is? Yeah, the, 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 the point is that, um, you see, there is so much inefficiency in the Nigerian public service that's just allowed to fester because, you know, people don't want to rock the boat. People don't want to ruffle feathers. And... It should not be that way. Because when you even look at some of the parasitas, you wonder, are these parasitas yeah, even really wonderful. existing? Yeah. Like the one you mentioned now, now. I don't mean, I didn't Abuja know. Broadcasting Corporation. I mean, where? I mean, you'll be wondering how. <laughs> when, you go to, when you are in Abuja, <laughs> Any salary. and you tune, you tune your radio or you put on TV, you don't, see such a, you don't see such a station. So what is going on? How come people are drawing salaries without... Mm. Mm. being seen anywhere. So we can should make things happen in FCT so that it can be a more enjoyable city. Yeah. All right, moving on now.